Hey everyone, these are your notes for lab equipment. There is a fun little video that you can go watch. This is also on the class website, so if you would like to watch it, watch it on your own time. Okay, so these are gonna be the most important pieces of lab equipment that you need to know. First is beakers. These are used to hold solids or liquids, but we do not use them for measurement. So they're not very precise. So we're not gonna use them to specifically measure liquids. The Erlenmeyer flask is the flask that kind of looks like a triangle. It holds materials that release gases because of that long neck and it will help um, the liquid to not splatter if it's stirred or heated. Again, we don't use these to measure. The Florence flask is used for mixing chemicals. So that long, narrow neck, it helps the liquid to not splash and you can kind of swirl the liquid around. Rubber stoppers, sometimes they're made of cork also. These are used um, to close containers so that they don't spill and so nothing is contaminated. Containers should never be heated when there's a stopper in place. Um, if they're heated, a lot of times a stopper can fly off or the glass could break. Graduated cylinder, this is what we use to measure volumes of liquids. So that's really important. This is the one thing that we're using to measure liquids. Test tubes, these come in a lot of different sizes. These are just gonna hold liquids. So we have different sizes of tubes. Okay, test tube holder. When a test tube is hot or it's being heated up, you can hold one with this test tube holder. We also have test tube brushes. This is what you're gonna to use to clean out the test tubes or graduated cylinders. Just be careful that the brush is not too big and so that it won't break the test tube. Test tube racks. This is what you're gonna to use to hold and organize those test tubes. A watch glass. It kind of looks like a giant contact lens. This is used to hold a small amount of a solid. You can also use a watch glass to do small, simple reactions. Just anything that's really tiny. A glass stir rod. This is what you're gonna to use to stir solutions. Or if you need to transfer one single drop of a liquid, you can do that use, using the stir rod. Forceps look like tweezers, but they're not. These are used to pick up small objects. A funnel, um, most of ours are plastic. This one looks like it's glass. Um, these are gonna help you when you're transferring liquid from one thing to another. A weighing boat or a weighing dish is used to weigh solids that are going to be transferred into another vessel. So this little weigh boat is what you put on the scale. Then you have to zero out the scale and then you add in whatever solid you need so that you can get a correct weight. Spatulas look like this, used to dispense solid chemicals from their containers. We also have something called a scoopula, which looks like a spatula, it's just more curved. Beaker tongs are used to move beakers that are hot or containing hot liquids. A Bunsen burner is used for heating liquids and solids. So one side connects to a hose that connects to the gas and then the flame comes out the top. A ring stand. This is gonna be your safe and convenient way to perform reactions that require using a Bunsen burner. So that Bunsen burner would go on the bottom part of the ring stand and then you can put a ring and a beaker on the top. Iron rings, these attach to the ring stand and they basically make the platform for your beaker to go on. There's also utility clamps, excuse me, clamps. These are used to attach to a ring stand and then have a test tube on that left side. Okay, there's also wire gauze. This will sit on the iron ring that's on your ring stand. And this is what the beaker is actually going to sit on so that it doesn't fall through the iron ring. And strikers. These are what we use to light Bunsen burners. On that left side, there's a piece of flint. When it hits, when you move it really quickly, there's friction and it causes sparks. That's what's gonna light your flame. 
Okay, that's it for these notes. If you guys have questions, please email me or ask me in class.